Hi guys, this is Ron from SIO2 Interactive. Uh, just a quick video to show you uh, the latest development. Basically, I've been porting the SIO2 engine on the N900 from Nokia. So basically, all the development for uh, those of who are interested uh, happened on Ubuntu. So basically, on my Snow Leopard, I installed this uh, little application that is called VirtualBox. That it's uh, pretty nice and it's free from Sun Microsystem and I am running on my Snow Leopard uh, Ubuntu, the latest distribution. Most of the development of the N9, all the development of, of the N900 happen uh, basically with the IDE that they propose you to download which is ESBox. It's, uh, it's based on Eclipse basically and all the packages and dependencies are coming you know like directly from within the IDE which is pretty cool. So for the device and of course the virtual uh, the emulator that you got there. As for the emulator, uh, for maybe for OpenGL ES 2.0 it's working fine but for OpenGL ES uh, version 1 it just sucks and it's not usable at all. So basically I had to do you know like the main port directly on the device. So basically the way to interact with the device is a bit different than with the iPhone and iPod Touch is going to uh, happen through SSH which is kind of cool uh, it's remote and everything so that's kind of nice so for the first application that I decide to port I decide to port instead of a boring tutorial I, I, I decide to port you know like a game and I pick up Hoop Frenzy uh, source code of Hoop Frenzy that you can of course find on the SIO2 store and I'm not trying to make a hard sale here whatever anyway so we select your frenzy and I'm going to start clicking the run button probably going to ask for my SSH password something is initializing right here it's linking with the device I don't know if we can see properly with the camera because this camera pretty much sucks okay so enter your SSH password okay and automatically we're going to have the application that is going to launch on the N900 and we got Hoop Frenzy running the latest version of SIO2 which is 1.4.1 and it's working fine honestly the performance are not as good on the I of the iPhone I put the blame mainly on the OpenGLES uh, driver from what I see OpenGL ES 2.0 on that device seems to run pretty fine but so basically we are running the whole SIO2 uh, OpenGL have been recompiled from scratch because there's no port at the moment that it's available but uh, for the rest it's all standard standard uh, SIO2 built which is kinda nice and everything is working fine touch screen is not also as responsive as the iPhone. Uh, the, the screen is way bigger though. It's it's almost the double of the size of the iPhone uh, having a 800 by 480 which is kinda nice uh, but the the whole thing compared to the iPhone is, is, is iPod, iPhone and iPod Touch is it's a lot less responsive but it is, it is honestly a, a nice little device. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you know in the next following months this is pretty much you know better you know everything is better so far but uh, uh, at least at least it's working, and it's actually you know like nice to see SIO2 working on on that. Uh, for those who, who's interested, nothing really of the Hoop Frenzy source code have changed. It is pretty basically the same exact same code. Okay, uh, everything I've been comp uh, I've been programming C C++. So. Uh, no change, no necessarily change. The graphic uh, engine uh, almost worked out of the box. There's still some little OpenGLES uh, driver bugs, but you know there's workarounds, and in general, it's it's working pretty nice. And you know, as the N900 got a keyboard, we can also inter you can also interact with the keyboard. There you go, quit the application. So. Uh, Concerning the SD, the the SIO2 engine SDK is probably going to take a while before I port it. Like I said, the whole thing is still in beta. It's not uh, 
really stable also okay uh, in general but the platform is is acceptable okay for a first release and I just hope it's going to get better and better in the next following months cheers guys